Okay, so it's the last two bundles is for the door frame. And then you find three of these curb pieces for the, uh, the frame opening at the top and for the um, door itself. Pretty easy. No special instructions. that door. This little trailer has a little story to it. We had a bad flood in 2015 and the trailer, we knew it was going to rain, uh, but it was ended up being a 100 year flood and it was at levels that we never anticipated. Down at the this bottom old barn the water was five foot high. Where I'm standing is five foot high. And so that puts it like, I'm only five, six, so it's like around here. Anyway, so uh, this trailer went down with the flood. I'll show you. It actually went all the way down. You can see those trees down there and it was crashed into those trees. And it was it was in bad shape, but at that time I was trying to claim little victories because we lost a lot with the flood, including animals. Uh, Seventeen or nineteen goats we lost. Uh, like nine of them were babies. It was very bad, and uh, there was a, a building just right over here that went down there. The entire building had an 18 horse riding lawnmower in it and other stuff. There was another building over there. It was a 10 by 12 building. It had stuff in there. It went all the way down there and it crashed against the trees. It was bad. Five foot of water uh, is a lot of power. Anyway, so this little trailer, I, uh, I uh, got it straightened out as best I could and claimed it as a victory. Okay, so there's, there's the doors. So these pieces, have some riveted pieces already welded on for your door hinges. You can see this longer one. Okay, so you it's a little little uh, bent, isn't it? But anyway, so this longer one. Let me start this camera. So this longer one is uh, the outside uh, part of the frame. And this one, okay, so the shorter one is the inside part of the frame. And it has it, has it labeled up. Should be the same way on this one. And it has a, a built-in latch system which corresponds to this one, so then the latch will go in like this uh, when you're done. But when you put the chicken wire on, that does kind of get in the way. It's a pretty flimsy little latch. I'll be making another latch. I'll show in, in a short video. I did it for the first one, it worked out well. Okay, so let's just snap these things together real quick. Now, the gloves on. And I ain't taking them off either. This is why I like this. Let's slide. Let's see if I can get in close. Just slide it like this, give it a little turn, you put this piece on, butt it up against there, and it just falls right in. Works really well, especially if you have gloves, if you're wearing gloves.
started. Dead on. Squeeze them in. Okay, so your door frame, I'm going to point out, you can see you have uh, holes pre-drilled up here and on that side. And those go for like a, a little U-strap that's going to, that connects the top part. So we'll just kind of hook the bottom up here. It has a little set screw. It would be easier if I put that in there first, but... I'm already here, so I ain't, ain't gonna die. Yeah. Right there. So in your parts bag. Among other things. You have these two little U straps, one for each side. <clears throat> and they could correspond to those little holes. So, in the other parts bag with the nuts and bolts, which is only a few, they also give you um, a wrench and somewhat of a screwdriver, this triangular shape. Anyway, so I checked out earlier when I checked all my parts. I also checked and made sure that I had the correct amount of nuts and bolts. And I do. Alright, this, this is going to be a challenge. There we go. There we go. So it's the one with the Phillips. It's got a Phillips head on it. It goes in these. So we just loose assemble that. Which I just noticed I have this backwards. Alright, let's fix it. Let me get the little magic screwdriver. These nuts uh, have those little traction cuts on the back of them so they dig in. Okay, so. Yeah, we got that's right on 43. So I gotta move it still. Just a little bit. It's like an eighth of an inch off, and you may not mind that. So Okay, so use your little your magic screwdriver and just tighten your your two set screws on both your pieces enough to give it a little tension so they don't wiggle out of place but it's basically if you go from the edge of that f piece to the edge of this b bracket on the bottom rail or not and the edge would be right here as i'm talking about from here that edge to this edge and you'll see it's just a hair a sixteenth over an eighth of an inch and you do the same thing on this side there to there and your door would be pretty well centered within a sixteenth or eighth of an inch and the main thing is you want to maintain 
uh, 26 and a half inches which it is at the top as well so that's your door okay and here's the last of the nuts and bolts um, they're closed in with the rounds heads the nuts are and that is for your door And this latches. Like that. So I'll just note whenever I put the the uh, chicken wire on, I'll be taking this door back off because it's easier. But for now, there's the uh, total assembled frame right there. Let's get this. There you go. There's what it looks like until you get the and when you put the chicken wire on, it's not going to look that much different, especially at a distance. I'll show you. I'll show you the other one. It's in place. Let's walk over there. This will be our back exit into our chicken pen. That gate will. Remain in place though because I want to be able to access it with a tractor or whatever when I get the tractor running. This was my garden area. Little Victor. So Little Victor will be sharing space. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's there's the pen with the chicken wire on it. I used the zip ties just to hold it in place until I could get it permanently tied down and clipped down. I just pulled this over with a lawnmower, which you'll see. And I just made this little latch. I like it better. I think it's more secure and easier. I kept that little latch on there. And we'll use that for a second latch at night time. We always like having double latches. And especially that latch is down low now where the predators can't move that out of, out of uh, or scoot it out a little bit so they can squeeze in. So that's what the finished product will look like. Then I'll have a 12 foot by 20 foot 16 mil tarp covering the entire thing and it will just it will go somewhere around here it'll be uh, just almost a perfect fit and in this pin i don't know let it go over there i still have to do the fencing up here i gotta remove some posts the wooden corner posts and all the t posts swing the fencing around over here then I'll leave this little dog leg section accessible. I'll put some cattle panel or something like that up just to protect them for something coming in. <clears throat> On that side, I'll tie in to this fence here. And then this is going to be different here. 
you'll notice um, the jog from the barn. Let's let me go out here. You see Luann down there feeding. Say hi, Luann. Hi. <laughs> okay, so you'll see how those posts line up with the barn. So now that's going to all take that post out, that all those posts out, and it's going to come all the way down to it's going to basically line up, I guess, to right here but it's going if you can see my finger and uh, anyway it's going to corner off with with this post and so it'll come in square it's kind of hard to show with this camera I didn't bring a big tripod but anyway so it's going to come in this direction stop here and line up with this fence row and so I have my three corner posts there with her braces and this this post will stay this gate will get moved to somewhere around in here so posts will be changed with that that way we can open it chickens can go into this pen uh, hand to geese and if we need to get in and out we'll go through this gate to go out to that pen so that's the changes that's coming real soon hopefully before the snow flies and that's getting really close.